Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Arushi and I hope you guys are doing good and safe at home. So today I'm going to be sharing certain do's and don'ts that you have to follow if you have hooded eyes. I did not even know I had hooded eyes so I would achieve a cut crease and it would never show. So it really made me wonder where am I going wrong and what technique am I not doing right. So the tips and tricks that I'm going to be sharing with you today are very easy to do and something you can really manage with the stuff that you have at home. But you will be really surprised to see that it really makes your eye look so much bigger. So let's just begin. Let's find out what exactly is a hooded eye. So when you look in the front, you will see in my case, uh, most of my lid is not visible. And this particular portion is a little droopy. Only when I make my face like this is where it looks a little uh, straight. But otherwise, if I'm looking normal, this is my normal face. And... This will be a little puffy and most of my lid does not show. So if you have something like this, you have hooded eyes. So continue watching my video. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the difference between the two so that you see for yourself. This is going to be my good side where I'm going to be following all the do's. And this is going to be my bad side where I'm going to be not following all the do's. First things first, I'm going to be filling my brows and setting them with a brow setter whereas I'm not going to be doing this on this side. Also towards the ends, we're going to make sure that the eyebrows are straight, not drooping downwards. In case of this side, we are first of all not going to be filling it. Secondly, we will make sure that the eyebrows look downwards. The second thing that you must follow is applying a primer on your eyelids. Reason being that this area folds, so there is a high possibility that you might have oily lids or your eyeshadow might just get creased. So when you have a primer, primer makes sure that the lids don't get oily and also your eyeshadow stays in place. So make sure you do that. So on this side, I'm going to be applying primer. On this side, I won't be applying primer. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Uh, this is one of the most amazing uh, eyeshadow primers that I've used till date. It keeps my eyeshadow in place and also makes sure that my lids don't get oily. But you can just use any primer. If you don't have an eye primer, you can always use a concealer instead of a primer. So once the eye primer is applied, just make sure to powder it. So the next thing that you need to keep in mind is how to apply eyeshadow the right way for hooded eyes. So on this side, I'm going to be applying it the right way. On this side, of course, the wrong way. I'm using this Warm Up Sessions from Huda Beauty and I'm going to be using this neutral shade. And to begin with, I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid. And I'm going to do the same on my other eye. As you can see, it's not smooth. So I'm going to be taking this dark brown color, this one. This is my natural crease. So in case of applying eyeshadow in hooded eyes, you have to create a fake crease. So what you're going to be doing is, you're going to be applying eyeshadow just above your crease. Look in the front and wherever your crease is, you just apply it right above it. Make sure that you don't go downwards. So you just apply it, look straight, apply it and just go straight. Then take another darker color. I'm taking this brown. In case of the wrong eye, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just be applying it on my natural lid. Also, I'm going to be going all the way down here. And I'm going to be taking the dark brown. So now you see when I open my eye, the eyeshadow is visible, but this eyeshadow is not visible. It looks like I've not applied anything at all. The darkest color is what I'm using, darkest shade. In case of the right side, what you're going to be doing is just applying a little bit above the crease and on the corner. That's it. In the wrong side, I will also be applying dark shade on the inside. Now we're going to be applying glitter to my eyes, shimmer glitter. 
on this eye we're just going to be applying this glitter all over always highlight the inner corner of your eye here I'm not going to be applying it also while applying eyeshadow on the lower lids on the wrong side what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to apply it all over you see how scary I look on the right side make sure that you only cover half of it and that too very little now in case of fruited eyes when you highlight in your eyebrows you only have to highlight this portion reason being that if i highlight the entire portion my hooded eyes get more highlighted and my eyes will look more smaller more puffier so on the wrong side what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be applying it all over and on the right side i'm just going to be applying it here Now, uh, for something that I was doing for the longest time, I was applying eyeliner the wrong way. So here I'm using the tattoo liner. The reason I like it is because it has a very thin tip. And in case of fooded eyes, the thinner you apply eyeliner, the better it is. Because as it is, we have very little lid space. So if you apply like too much eyeliner, nothing's going to show. So what I did here was, I just outlined my eye. And also in case of a hooded eye, the right way to apply winged eyeliner is to just follow the line under your eye. Here we're just going to be applying like a lot of eyeliner. So as you can see, it has taken most of our eye space and I think I look pretty much very scary. And this is precisely the mistake that I used to always do. I used to apply my eyeliner very thick. I used to try and make it look winked the natural way, but in case of a hooded eye, that's not the wing you want, trust me. This is what you want. Um, like whatever is your lid space, make sure that you apply only very thin liner and your wink only comes after your lid is over. Being someone who's always loved makeup, has to love applying gold pencil, but has to always wonder why I look so scary after applying so much gold pencil. So over the period of time, I naturally stopped using it. But yes, if you have hooded eyes, I will definitely suggest you not to use a gold pencil. Applying eyeshadow is a better alternative. Trust me, you will really see the difference. In case of the wrong eye, I'm going to be applying it. In case of the right eye, instead of applying the gold pencil, we'll be using a beige pencil. In case of hooded eyes, it's very important to brighten the under eye area. Here I'm using the dark shape tip concealer in light medium. The wrong side, we're not going to be applying it. You see, it makes so much of a difference in brightening your eye. The final thing that you have to do is applying mascara the right way. In case of the wrong side, we're just going to be not focusing on the length. Whereas in case of the right side, we will focus on building the eyelash. So here we are. I'm sure you can see the difference between the right side and the wrong side. I look nice here and trust me, I look really scary here. Just following simple do's and don'ts can make so much of a difference. If I just look straight, I can easily see that this eye looks so much bigger, brighter and this eye looks more droopy. I look sleepy, I look tired and it just looks very scary and you know for the longest time this is how I used to do my eye makeup and I used to wonder why I look scary and why everybody else does it and looks so pretty. The best thing that I like about following these do's and don'ts is like my eyeshadow shows like no matter how much effort I used to put nothing used to show the moment I start looking straight but here even if I'm looking straight my eyeshadow shows my glitter shows everything shows my eyes look brighter so I really hope you like this video do share your views in the comments below and also your experience with hooded eyes I would love to know and if you discovered you have hooded eyes through this video or if any of these tricks work well for you please 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 do reach out to me I would love to know your experience and it will make me the happiest to know that this video helped you guys i'll be back with another video meanwhile check out these two videos and do share your views on this as well and please stay safe at home bye